There's a bit of feedback from the front line for you. Um, last night I was out and uh, met up with Anne Marie and the rest of the street knights, and they were out doing their wonderful thing, feeding people. I managed to get rid of about nine pairs of gloves and well, at least twelve pairs of socks. So I'm, I'm out of thermal socks for the moment. But um, I bumped into a um, young ex-soldier on the streets, and he was admiring my um, combat. So he said, oh, "I could really do with a pair of them." And funnily enough, I have a Gore-Tex pair here that were um, donated to us while we were at Danes Hill um, by a former soldier there. So I'm going to take them and the woolly hat down to uh, this young man because I know where he's going to be today and I did promise I was, I was going to take it. Um, but I'm also going to take some other items for him. Some MRAs or mountain um, food packs. There's some desserts there. There's some dinners there. Um, some shock blankets, obviously. Um, razor blade, toothbrush, some tea lights. Um, moving on, a tent, a sleeping bag, and a roll mat. Um, because obviously he has nowhere to sleep at the moment. And um, I'm going to make a few suggestions for him tonight um, to, to give him some idea. There's another meal for him. To give him some idea of uh, where he can hunker down. So uh, I'm going to do an update on this later, hopefully out on the street with the young man. And uh, hopefully people from Veterans Today and Veterans for Peace and uh, any local uh, soldier support networks will get involved and get this lad off the streets. In the meantime, this is what I've got for him. Catch you in a bit.